Hey, what's up, YouTube? Okay, I'm just going to make this video. Um, this is due to the I've, in fact I've gotten quite a few requests on how to use the camera, actually more appropriate, the video camera, on this Sharper Image digital media player. I already did an official review of this, so if you want, go ahead and check that out. But this is for the people that want a little better instructions on how to use um, the camera. As we discussed, the, the directions that came with this are pretty, um, well, they're just not good. So, here we go. When you start turn on your machine, um, your little player here, this is the screen you're going to get, and most likely you're going to start off on the music. Well, that's great, but we want to use the camera. But first thing we have to do is we have to go up to Setup. Alright, so we're going to go to Setup by hitting the up arrow. I hit the middle button here, by the way, and the middle button is this little Mercedes-looking symbol. So I go ahead and click that. And now we are in setup. Okay. Now, um, once you're here, just go ahead and hit up, and it wraps you around to the bottom option, which is workspace. Select that middle button, and you get to this. Okay. Now, if you're on flash, that's great. You have one gig, but you're going to use that quite quick. So go down to SD. Um, this is assuming, of course, you've put a, head, a mini SD card in the top of your unit. And if you haven't, well, then you get one gig. But otherwise, if you have an SD, go ahead here, select SD. Again, middle button once you highlight it. Get this nice little screen saying the SD is active. Great. Middle button to say OK. Now we're going to back out. Let's left button. Left button again. And now you're back here. We want to get to the camera because that's what you're watching this video for. So we'll go down, down, down. OK, now we're at the camera. Now, you can scroll through these all day long and you're not going to find a video camera icon. It's just not there. You go to the video camera by going through the camera. So, go to camera, hit the middle button. Now you're in this, um, this screen here. Okay, now keep in mind, I'm in the uh, camera, so it's kind of taking a picture of whatever I put in front. So, uh, it won't look like my desktop. But, anyways, so, actually, no, I'm just going to show you the, okay, you can see it's, tracking live okay I'm just gonna go down and shoot a black s sample that way it'll be a lot less distracting all right you can see here that I have what is that um like yeah 16,700 possible pictures actually it's 780 can you see that actually you know what I'll go back to this this was working better <laughs> okay so um give me time to zoom in okay here we go so I have 160, well, sorry, 16,780 possible photos. And that's a good way of knowing you're in photo mode because it shows you a number. That's how many photos you can take. All right. Now, but we don't want photos because you already know how to get to that. We want um, video. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and hit the middle button. And here's a secret. Push in the middle button and hold it until a menu pops up. There it is. And, of course, once the menu pops up, go ahead and release the button. All right, now the first option we get set up on is change to DV mode. That's what you wanted. It changes you to digital video mode. All right, now if I hit over, we're using the right button, you get some of these other things. You know, you can a regular or self-timer, you know, so you can put it down and go take a picture of yourself or whatever. Then you have all these other options. There's your resolution. Of course, keep it on the high one. Keep that on the high one. I mean, this thing isn't exactly super high quality on the video aspect, so everything high, is, I would suggest. But anyways, you're not here for the photo stuff. You want to get video. Okay, sorry, I kind of got out of there. Okay, so again, middle button. Okay, so now we have this menu. Um, once you're here, all you got to do is release your thumb to keep this up. Then, when you want to select DV mode, you're already on the button, so just click the middle button again. And now it changed over. Now what I want to show you here is that, remember that thing that was uh, 16,000? Well, now you see it's been replaced by actual time. I um, believe that is, I don't think that's hours. So I'm assuming that might be 69 minutes, 54 seconds. Or I don't think it's 69 hours. But anyways, whatever. You can see it's a time. That way you know, um, that, way you know that you are actually in the video camera mode. And now, um, if you want to play again with the options in video camera mode, again, push and hold the middle button. Okay, now, we're going to go do something. Again, now you see how if I push the thing again, I go back to, to capture mode, which is the photo. But we don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit over, right. Okay, here's your resolution. Um, you see you have 128 and 240. 
um, 240 by 320 again with the thing higher is better because this thing can't afford any handicaps <laughs> so um, what you want to do is but I want to show you something this is going to get important about selecting things in these menus you go ahead and highlight what you want okay this sounds basic but bear with me because some people have had questions about this you go ahead you select what you want I'm just going to select the crummier resolution here okay 128 by 160 how do you select this you hit while you have it highlighted you hit the middle button so I'm going to do that oh my god nothing's happened right look our number hasn't changed so what did I do well you've actually you have selected it but to take effect you have to move off of this option once you've hit the middle button so again I select this I hit the middle button now this still hasn't changed but watch what happens when I move off of this menu by hitting right Oh, did you see that? The number changed. Now we have 262 minutes um, because, of course, the cr video um, quality is more crummy. But what the important thing there is not to see that number, but it was to show you how to select an option in this. So middle button again. Let's say I want to change back to higher quality because this thing needs it. We all know that. Go over to 240. I hit the middle button. Nothing has happened yet. Not to panic. When I move off of this menu... Uh, went back to 69 so there you go I think that kind of wraps that up um, just quick the other options you have since we're kind of doing this is um, high middle low um, I'm not sure that is that resolution or white balance or I'm not sure I mean, the can't be white balance has numbers so anyways high middle low play around with it you figure out what that is here we go this is nor these are the kind of special effects you have normal which is normal. Black and white makes everything black and white. Negative, everything's reversed. Light's dark, dark's light. And SEPA is that um, antique looking, so it looks like the Wild West kind of video, home, <laughs> Wild West movies. Everything's that kind of dingy orange. And now, last thing, here's exit. Um, some people thought this was exit out of this menu. No, it's not. If you hit, go ahead and hit exit, I'm going to hit the middle button here and watch what happens. Oh, we're back at the main screen. So, Anyways, hope that helps, and go ahead and leave questions, if, and I'll try to help you out if you need more. Thanks.